Well, it's expected to be a dramatic night here at City Hall. This vote happening at 7 o'clock as there are strong opinions on both sides about what to do with that city jail. Right now, there's a huge divide in how much it would cost to repair the Portsmouth City Jail. The city attorney says the price tag is about $30 million, while the sheriff's office says the number is really $300,000. Basically, this is just, we'll throw out any scare tactic to the, the citizens to say, hey, we need to close this facility. Colonel Marvin Waters says the city is throwing out a huge inaccurate number to get city council members to vote to close the jail tonight. It's not best for the city, and that's the problem. We're not doing what's best for the citizens. With the discrepancy and an ongoing legal battle over the jail, Vice Mayor Lisa Lucas Burke wants to delay tonight's vote. And if it's just a matter of us making the repairs to, to buy a little bit more time until we're able to come to a resolve on how we transition the inmates, then, then let's do that. The issue has divided city leaders for months. City leaders want to redevelop the area around the jail because it's on the water. The city manager's office put condemned signs on the jail last summer, and so the sheriff sued the city. In January, a judge ruled the city cannot condemn the jail and must work to maintain it as long as the building is still considered the jail. The city council will vote tonight on closing the jail. The city attorney is recommending sending the inmates to the other jail in Portsmouth, Hampton Roads Regional Jail, where the city already pays for 250 beds a day, but is only using about 35 of those beds. The mayor says the city is wasting a lot of money. It's like booking the whole Renaissance Hotel and not putting a single person in a room there. That makes no sense. But the sheriff has said he does not think the regional jail safely houses inmates. Lucas Burke is urging her colleagues to slow down, and she's worried about the optics. My concern is that the community, the African-American community, is already seeing that we've ousted the black chief police. Now we're out after the black sheriff. You know, who's next? So it could get pretty heated tonight. Now, there are a lot of outstanding legal questions and battles going on with this, including some things that were filed just today. Now, ultimately, the legal aspect of this could have the biggest say in what happens to the jail, but we know that this vote will also let us see how the city council feels about all of this, and that is going on tonight at 7. We're live in Portsmouth. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3.